Well, I don't know. I think there's going to be a lot of conversation around the Every Student Succeeds Act. You know, right now we're working really hard to, to develop our new accountability system. With regard to standards, I don't know. Um, I mean, the, and the actual legislation that we saw last session didn't actually repeal them as much as put a new process in place. Uh, for my role and my, the way my philosophy works is anything with standards, we want to make sure that we've included everybody, all the shareholders in, in education. So as we continue to work on uh, adjustments to the standards, because as we've been very public about, we have been going through a process to get more feedback on those standards and we hope that everybody will be uh, comfortable and hopefully very engaged as we make the necessary changes that we need to but at the same time make sure that we're keeping the, the absolute necessities of the standards in place. If we did bring all the shareholders to the table and there was something worked out, do you think that it would be beneficial to the state to make these kind of tweaks to the standards? and? Obviously, that would be better than just full repeal, in your opinion, correct? Absolutely. You know, the thing that we've got to do is take care of our teachers. And, and part of the issue with a repeal is that the teachers, they don't have a place to go. So I believe it is time for a revision of the standards. In fact, I believe that, that uh, as I've shared with you in the past, I think that the revisions that are going through actually make them even more Kentucky standards and a lot less of being able to talk about Common Core or whatever. Um, but there are things that we've learned in, the, in implementing these standards that actually there are things that need to be more clear. There are things that need to be moved to different grade levels. And frankly, there are even a few things that, that the public are telling us that have been sort of left out.